Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jacob Restituto. I'm a musician from Northport, New York. And today we are reacting to and breaking down Nessa Barrett, Jaden, and Travis Barker. Man, that's pretty sick that they were, they were, had, had a, dude, Travis has been getting around lately playing on a lot of things. But today we're breaking out La Die. I'm looking forward to seeing this. It's a really catchy song. I'm actually, I'm a huge fan of this pop punk kind of feel to it. This kind of pop rock punk kind of just dirty electric guitars kind of driving drums and stuff so actually shout out to travis because i just used a sample i'm remaking my song modern love and creating this unknowingly before i even saw that he was doing this uh, a pop punk kind of version of it just to, i don't know i want to make it fun and different um and i'm actually just use a sample of one of his drums uh from splice so that's actually pretty wild uh but if you want to release music just like i release music and they release music definitely consider checking out distro kid where you could save seven percent on your first year uh i put it on apple music spotify pandora all the great platforms and get to keep 100 percent of the royalties Link in the description to save 7%. This is Nessa on Barrett. Jimmy Kimmel, the library. Hey, in that minor note, man, it's amazing. Stereo, oh nice. Oh, let's talk about this really quick. We got some stereo uh, acoustics, really crisp acoustics. I really, I really like how clean they are. I'm surprised that this is only in 720, by the way, so I apologize if it's not super clear. Um, really, really, really nice clean acoustics. Low pass filtered, kind of overdriven style, highly like parallel compression on the drums, kind of really give them that dirty drum feel. I got a boy in my head. Travis has such a distinct style of vocal uh, of recording and playing drums because he, you know, who he reminds me of. If you're familiar with uh, Twenty One Pilots, he's he very much reminds you of Josh uh, from that. They've had this very, very, very hard playing and very tight playing where they play really tight, but also re like as opposed to like a loose style playing. Uh, and he, they have a really distinct style of playing. I also noticed um, her vocals are insane, man. Like she's got she. I don't. I would assume. You know, I don't know. I was going to say I would assume that they're live, but they very well could be pre-recorded and like kind of pitch corrected, but they I, I don't know the answer to that. Uh, some artists do, some artists don't, especially with the opportunity that they have pre-filming for uh, because of COVID. Her vocals are insane, though. They are really on point. <laughs> nice stereo electrics. Dude, that's a sick shot, man. Okay, so they must be playing along to some sort of tracks. If you look at Travis, he's playing chord notes on the, the hi-hat, and he's not playing that. You hear in eight notes, look. Yeah, there's that, there, do you hear that, that, that like 16th note or even 32nd note riff? There's some, some sort of layering going on, which is cool. Live drums and layers are cool. Kind of reminds me of Kid the Kid Leroy. Kind of has similar vocal style. Call me one all of you, but I'm far away and I can't choose. Got a lot of. All right, this is totally being played. There's nothing wrong with this. Totally fine, but this is totally playing along with tracks because I don't think I don't know if any of I can hear any of Travis's like drum. Like, look at his drumming. And it's fine. I'm not judging. So many artists do this, by the way. I'm not calling them out. I'm not saying, oh, they, they, you know, whatever. A lot of artists do this. It, I just, I, I like pointing it out because I think that it's, I don't actually know why. Because I, I guess it makes me feel better when I do it. Because <laughs> I think a lot of artists do it. It's totally fine. But like, things aren't matching up. Well, maybe, actually. I thought he was doing some sort of, uh, like, Tom. It might actually be the snare in the hi-hat that he's doing. Maybe. Nice. 
super huge electric guitars going left and right, uh, and then nice palm muted acoustic right in the center, giving some really nice crisp upper frequencies. I, get, I where do people find all these studios that they that they film all these things? Between all these people that do these live shows, where do they film? Lessons, my depression it makes me question. My depression it makes me question. Yeah. I like that. It's like a guitar and a synth layered together. Nice. Nice layered vocals, octave up, octave down. Dude, Travis is a crazy drummer, man. He's a crazy drummer. It's, it's really talented. I also like how they kept the, the, the same kind of, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The kind of color palette that they had in the original to give that kind of still cohesiveness between their branding, which is pretty cool. So hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, definitely consider subscribing and checking out my music, Jacob Restituta, wherever you listen. Consider checking out that new version that's coming out of Modern Love, a track that I already have released, but a pop punk version coming out soon. And if you want to release music just like I release music, definitely consider checking out DistroKid. Link in the description. God bless and peace out.